you that we have another comedian coming up. And no he singers. is fully ready to go all the way from Sacramento. Give it up for Steven. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Thank you. That one, that's a tough act to follow. And then I got the famous last word. But anyway, <laughs> you don't realize how happy I am I got a microphone. Because in my hometown, they say don't ever give Stephen the microphone because he'll keep talking on and on and on. And his Chinese name is on too long. <laughs> and he didn't know that. But anyway, I'm retired now. And then my friend said, you are a ninja. I said, what? What's a ninja? He said, N-I-N-J-A. -A. No income, no job, no asset. You spend all your money. I said, okay, I better get a job. I said, I'm going to be a Chinese magician. And I'm going to give my name called Fu Ling Yu. <laughs> <laughs> now somehow Emily, she's really a, not just a wonderful super salesman, she's a super marketer. Now you know what's the difference between a super salesman and a super marketer? A super salesman can sell water to anybody who is thirsty. A super marketer makes you feel thirsty. And that is Emily. <laughs> That's why you all show up. So what is marketing? The professor was explaining to the class what is marketing. The professor said, you walk into a wedding party and then you walk up to a pretty girl and you tell her, I am very rich, marry me. Now that is called direct marketing. <laughs> so you walk, you walk into a wedding party and walk up to a pretty girl I am very rich, marry me. She slapped you right in the face. That is called customer feedback. <laughs> <laughs> so you walk into a wedding party, and before you can approach any pretty girl, you saw your wife walking in. Now that is called restriction for getting into new market. <laughs> now, I have this charming lady up there, I cannot expose her name. She told me how I should introduce myself. I haven't said any joke yet. And she said, what you need to do is, remember if any of you were in the first comedian show, there was a guy who fell asleep, and the comedian came on saying, Mr. Hong Kong, wake up. So, all right, that's me. <laughs> now, you see, since I'm retired, this is my audition to get a job at Coral Princess. So, <laughs> so I'm going to teach you two, English is my second language, so I'm going to teach you the Chinese word. These two words will help you for the rest of your life, all right? Now, first word is shrimp. I think many of you eat shrimp here, right? They do a good job. So, when you learn a language, you have to repeat the word. That's how I learn English. So the word for shrimp is ha. So repeat after me. Ha. ha. Very good. I hear some sopranos and some baritone. No accent. So one shrimp is ha. Two shrimp is ha ha. Three shrimp is ha ha ha. ha. Now, you like that? And then the other one is oyster. Oyster is ho. Say ho. ho. Two oysters is ho ho. ho. Three oysters is ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. Very good. Now, if that's the end of the story, that's no fun. But in Cantonese, ho means good. Ho ho means very good. Ho 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 is very, very good. Now I come to my joke now. I got one minute for my joke? All right. I can't decide what joke to tell because you know ADD, you know, attention deficit disorder. I'm retired. I'm suffering from AAADD, Age Activated Attention Deficit Disorder. <laughs> so I have three jokes to tell, but since you cut down my time for being on too long, I was going to tell you the uh, uh, Adam and Eve joke, the, uh, the wine joke, and now I decided to tell this one if I remember the, the, the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got some timer sometimes. But anyway, there was uh, uh, in the silver mining company in New Mexico, they hired three workers. They hired an American Indian, they hired a Chinese guy, they also hired a Mexican. So all three of them went to the supervisor to get their job assignment. And he told the supervisor told the American Indian, you're in charge of digging. Told the Chinese guy, you are in charge of supplies. And then he told the Mexican, you are in charge of shoveling. Okay, so all three of them went down to the bottom of the mine right away. The American Indian started digging and the Mexican started shoveling. And the Chinese guy was just walking around and then he disappeared. And so the American Indian said, hey, uh, where's the Chinese guy? And then the Mexican said, well, he's taking what you call a cat nap, taking a siesta, let's just do our job. So they keep digging and shoveling, they say, oh my goodness, he still hasn't come back. He must be in trouble. Let's go find him. That's very good. So they walk around the mine, and they come to this place. They see a miner's hat on the floor, with the light still on, and all of a sudden the Chinese guy jump up, surprise! <laughs> I want to up say, yet. this is not a joke, this is real. Uh, all of you, many of you use iPhone. I want you, I want to tell you an app. If you take one minute to listen to this presentation, it will be most valuable minute you ever spend on this cruise. Because this app on iPhone is free of charge. So first of all, I have to let you know that I'm a CFP and also CFT. CFP stands for Certified Financial Planner. CFT stands for Chinese Fortune Teller. <laughs> now, I'm going to make you all CFT, and you say, I I'm not Chinese. Okay, well, it'll be Caucasian Fortune Teller. And then you say, I'm not Caucasian. Okay, it'll be Certified Fortune Teller. Now, the app, if you bring out your iPhone, I know you cannot get on it, but the app, but you have to type in Chinese Horoscope. Just type in Chinese horoscope and you have to look for the one that's yellow on the outside, kind of black and, uh, and red on the inside. Okay? Now, I don't have time to certify you. Do I have time to certify you? No, you don't. Yeah, I can certify you? No. Okay, great. Now, in the app, there's the rat, there's the dog, there's a horse, uh, mm. but there's no cat. How come there's no cat? So. The Buddha said, I'm having a birthday party. You all come to my party and I will give you a gift to you will be remembered for thousands of years. And the cat said, oh well, I'll take a nap and then I'll come up to your party. So he show up and then say, hey Buddha, where's my gift? Buddha said, you lose and you lose. I already gave out 12 gifts and that's why you see, now you say you take a cat nap, okay? <laughs> so Buddha, 4,000 years ago, already know how to speak English. So that's one, one certification. Mm -hmm. The second one is, how come the rat is the first one on the 12th Soviet summer? Now, I don't make up this story. You can read it in Chinese, all the letters. So what happened is that all the animals have to go to the jungle, the river, and all that, and then the rat sang. Hey, Ox. Ox is the second one. Uh, why didn't you give me a ride so I can uh, get over to the Buddha's temple? The Ox said, no problem, come on over. So as soon as they get into the front door, the rat jump off. And it was the first one. So now you are certified fortune teller. All right? And I've got a good news to tell you. This is the end of my presentation. <laughs> Horse racing coming up very shortly here in the atrium. It is the owner's race.